Also new on the night beat, a San Antonio family claiming a local funeral home lost their grandmother's body. When the family went to rosary services last Friday at Castillo Mission Funeral Home, they say they found another woman lying in their grandmother's casket. The night team's Tim Gerber has the exclusive interview with the grieving family. Um, when we finally got in there, we as soon as we approached the casket and we viewed her right away, we all knew it was not her. Irene Blanco and her family made a shocking discovery last Friday when they arrived at Castillo Mission Funeral Home to hold services for their grandmother, Dolores Gutierrez de Leon. Someone else was in her casket. Her face, everything was just completely different. There was no way. Blanco says when they approached the funeral director, they offered to look for identifying marks on the body to confirm it was de Leon. But when they looked for a scar from a hip replacement, it wasn't there. Um, so it is 100% guaranteed that that is not our grandmother. The family demanded to know where De Leon's body was, but the funeral home had no answers. They're basically just trying to locate her. They, as of right now, the woman that is in that casket, they do not know who it is. Blanco says De Leon was in hospice care at a relative's home and passed away on April 23rd. The funeral home sent two people to pick up the body. According to the family and online obituaries posted on the funeral home's website, another woman by the name of Dolores Gutierrez died on April 21st, and her funeral was held on April 30th, the day before De Leon services. I want to find my grandmother. I don't know, because with that woman, they buried her. So I don't know if she was buried with the wrong family or she's somewhere else. I went to the funeral home this afternoon to get their side of the story, but they weren't talking. I, unfortunately, at this time, we can't comment on anything. Today, De Leon's family filed a lawsuit against the funeral home seeking a jury trial and damages in excess of a million dollars. This should not happen, not to any family, not to us, not to anybody. We trust them with our grandmother, with our loved one, with the day that she passed, and they should be able to tell us where she is. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. Now, the family has hired Mark Greenwald to represent them. He's the same attorney who handled the case of Julie Mott. Her body was stolen from a different local funeral home in 2015 and has never been found.